Imagine this, you live in a house with valuable possessions and you want to protect them from intruders. What would you do? Most likely, you will install a strong door with a lock and maybe even a security system. In the digital world, where our data and online activities are like valuable possessions and firewall is like a strong door with a lock safeguarding your digital assets. A firewall is a software and hardware security system used to stop unauthorized access to a digital system and organization from the outside world. Devices in the network use TCP IP for communication. TCP IP uses the IP address and port numbers to identify the application on the internet. Each user machine and server has its own IP address and each application is recognized by its port number for example HTTP uses TCP port 80 on the server. Firewalls filter traffic based on a defined set of rules, also called filters or ACL access control lists. The action of a filter rule is commonly allowed, deny, and or log. The first generation of firewalls only examine the transport or IP protocol layers, such as source and destination network addresses, protocols, and port numbers. If the incoming packet matches with the ACL or rule defined on the firewall, then it was allowed to pass through. If it didn't, it was either dropped or blocked. Initially, firewalls were classified as packet filtering firewalls that provided basic protection. As a result, they have significant limitations. They decide to allow or block traffic in a one-size-fits-all manner. Bad actors could inject rogue packets through acceptable protocols and ports, and they might craft packets to mimic legitimate traffic, effectively bypassing security measures. The solution to the limitations of the packet filtering firewall was the stateful inspection. So here comes the stateful firewall. Stateful firewalls observe the network connections over time and continuously examine the conversation between the endpoints. In TCP, a connection initiates through a three-way handshake starting with the SYN flag packet, which the firewall uses to indicate the arrival of a new connection. Next, the connection receives the flag SYN plus acknowledged by the server. As the firewall already has the information of the SYN packet earlier, it will allow the SYN plus acknowledge from the server towards the client. Similarly, receiving any TCP packet for which the firewall does not have any context is marked for deletion right there, along with future packets. A stateful firewall solves the problem of row packets, but there is still a problem a lot of these connections uses the same HTTP protocol for everything, and it is not easy to filter application just based on HTTP protocol. If you want to disable a particular application, you cannot just shut down HTTP as it will disturb all other legitimate traffic. To overcome this problem a new family or generation of firewalls was introduced called Next Generation Firewall. Next Generation Firewall understands the higher level protocols of the OSI model and allows filtering protocols such as HTTP, FTP, DNS, and others. Next Generation Firewall also provides many advanced security capabilities such as intrusion prevention and deep packet inspection. Deep packet inspection is just like airport security, where a security agent looks at your boarding pass as a first line of defense and makes rule-based decisions on whether to allow or drop the traffic and open up a packet to see if there is any malicious content just like your travel bags are checked by a screening. Firewalls are a critical component of network security that provides numerous benefits for individuals and organizations. In addition to network security and access control, the firewall can also help in protection against malware, Firewalls can identify and block known malware and viruses from entering your network. Intrusion detection and prevention. A firewall can detect suspicious or unauthorized activities within the network and take action to prevent them, such as blocking IP addresses. Content filtering. Firewalls can filter web content to block access to websites or specific types of content deemed inappropriate or unrelated to work. Logging and reporting. Firewalls generate logs of network traffic and security events. These logs can be used for monitoring network activity, analyzing security incidents, and generating compliance reports. DDoS mitigation. Some firewalls have built-in features to mitigate distributed denial of service attacks by identifying and blocking excessive traffic from multiple sources, preventing the target from becoming overwhelmed. Remote access security. Firewalls can be configured to secure remote access to internal networks, ensuring that remote users connect securely and are subject to the same security policies as on-site users. Compliance and legal requirements. Many industries and organizations are subject to regulatory compliance requirements. 
Firewalls help achieve and maintain compliance by enforcing security policies and recording security-related events. In summary, firewalls are crucial in safeguarding networks and data by providing a barrier against threats, controlling access, and ensuring compliance with security policies. They are an essential component of any comprehensive cybersecurity strategy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos and updates.